Good morning, everyone. My name is Kojo Boachi, and I'm the Vice President of Public Policy in Africa, the Middle East, and Turkey with Meta. I am extremely pleased to be here, but also mindful that I have a very short amount of time. So, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, all protocols observed. I'm here to speak to you about something that we're very excited about at Meta. It's the evolution of the internet, the metaverse, and what some of the broad steps we'll take to, to, to get its adoption up will look like. It will surprise few in this room, especially people who come to Leap often, if I say we are in the midst of a digital and technological revolution. Digital technology has shaped our recent past, but will play an even bigger role in shaping our future, allowing us to do things that we never thought possible. When Facebook started 19 years ago, most people accessed their Facebook, connected with friends and family and new acquaintances through desktop computers. As more and more people gained access to mobile phones, and those mobile phones evolved, giving us access to high-speed uh, high data, to wonderful images, and to amazing video, the internet became a more convenient, visual, richer way to share and connect. Thinking about the progression of the internet then, the metaverse is a logical evolution. It's the next generation of the internet, providing a more immersive 3D experience. Its defining quality will be one of presence, like you're there with another person who may be thousands of miles away or in another place. Imagine the possibilities. Imagine students who are interested in out of space and the planets, able to do the spacewalks that are usually reserved for astronauts or the uber wealthy. Also imagine those students are able to take those planets in their hands and explore the contours and look at areas they, were, they may never have traveled to to learn and to hand that planet to someone else who may be thousands of miles away to do the same thing and to share ideas about how we may improve the world. An amazing, amazing possibility. The metaverse will also better merge the virtual world and the real world, finding that sweet spot that all of us look for when tech just works better. How useful would it be to turn up in a city you may not have visited before, where they speak a language that you may not speak, and to put on a pair of glasses that may look just like this and guide you with line of sight and interpret the street signs and the languages that you're hearing? I do need to make a couple of things clear, because I speak to a number of people who say the metaverse is this and the metaverse is that. The metaverse isn't about replacing in-person experiences. It's about making what we do better and more meaningful and enhancing the feeling of being close to one another regardless of physical distance or any other impediment there may be. It's about enabling us to do things we do now better. It's also not about putting on a headset to enter the metaverse. I have to say, I encourage you to do so because they're amazing but you'll be able to enter the metaverse and use the metaverse through a myriad of apps and devices. I know this message may not be as important in the MENA region. The MENA region is at the vanguard of metaverse development. The positive impact it may have on everyday life is well known to His Excellency and the government here. Not only that, they also understand the impact it could have on the wider economy. If the adoption of the metaverse was anything like mobile telephony, in the next 10 years, we'll see 360 billion, that's 6.2% of GDP, added to the Middle East, North Africa, and Turkey region. This region is at the heart, or, uh, is at the heart of this activity, and Meta is based in this region to do exactly that and to drive this activity. We've seen the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia double down on its investments in advanced technologies, and we've seen the business community demand the skills that will be most important to drive in the metaverse forward. We've also seen Saudi Arabia with its vision and its action, not just announcements, but walking the talk, 
make uh, visionary uh, steps. One of those that we've been extremely impressed by is to ensure that by 2030, there will be one programmer for every 100 citizens. If ever an ambition and the action behind it deserves an applause, it's now. At Meta, we are committed to collaborating with partners in Saudi and the wider region to accelerate the development of the ecosystem. Most importantly, we want to establish those communities of creators and developers that will build the metaverse. So today, I am extremely proud to announce on behalf of Meta that we will open the first uh, Metaverse Academy in the region in partnership with Tuek and Samplon. The, ac <laughs> the Academy will train people across the region, teaching them the invaluable XR skills that will drive the development of the Metaverse. MENA's emerging tech creators and developers provide a powerful, diverse pool of talent, one that holds the key to the development of the metaverse here in the region, but in our opinion at Meta, much, much further afield, and we can't wait to see that impact. We're excited to be embarking on this journey with them and supporting them all the way. I'm going to leave you with a short video, my time is up, that outlines why we're so excited about the Metaverse and this academy. But before I do that, I want to make a clarion call to developers and aspiring developers to sign up and join the academy and undertake its programs. Thank you.